Okay, example three, we have 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. That is a, an ellipse. And x squared minus y squared equals 25. That's a hyperbola. It can look like that. Um, could also look like this. There's still a possibility that maybe they don't intersect. It could happen. We'll see. All right. But um, keep that in mind that there's four points of intersection available um, down to zero. So it could be four, three, two, one, or zero. The way it'd be um, here, let me just show you three. If it does this and this, there's three. Um, if it happens to do like that, there's two. If that one there is a little bit further over, now it's one. So I mean, you can have four, three, two, one, or zero, but uh, the maximum number of solutions is four. Um, looking at it, elimination looks pretty easy. Multiply the bottom equation by nine. So nine times x squared is nine x squared plus four x squared makes 13 x squared. Nine times negative y squared is negative nine y squared plus nine y squared cancels. Nine times 25 is 225 plus 36 is 261. Nice was 260, wouldn't it? Because it would divide by 13 evenly. Oh well. All right, so 13x squared equals 261 divided by 13. So x squared is equal to that. So x equals plus or minus. And then we got to take the square root of 261 13 Comes out to 4.4807. And just like the last problem, x equals either plus or minus 4.4807. Regardless of which one that is, x squared is still going to be 261 thirteenths. So whether I'm testing x equals positive 4.4807 or x equals negative 4.4807, x squared is equal to 261 thirteenths. I'm going to go to the bottom equation, x squared minus y squared equals 25. So 261 thirteenths minus y squared is equal to 25. Just replacing x squared with what it is based on what x is. Um, I'd probably multiply by 13 to get rid of the fractions. So 261 minus y squared is equal to 325. 13y squared. Oh, yeah, 13y squared. Thank you. I was so worried about multiplying 25 times 13. I forgot about that. All right. 13 times everything. Um, I'm going to move the 13 y squared over to the right. I like my y squared positive. I'm going to move 325 to the left. Uh, 261 minus 325 is what we get out of that, which makes a negative 64. <coughs> equals positive 13 y squared divided by 13. And all of a sudden, get y squared equals a negative number. That means y is going to be imaginary. We don't want imaginary answers on these problems. We want real answers. So once we get to an imaginary situation, nonlinear system equation, that just simply means it's not going to intersect. So this is an empty set answer. There are no solutions. Had we eliminated x instead of y over there, we would have gotten to that much quicker. But um, we didn't know that up front. So um, you know, if we, if we see that the signs are already matched up to cancel, I, I usually get rid of that one anyway. But you know, just so happened we were able to get a real x. We're not able to get a real y, so we get no answer. If, if we had hit, if we canceled x squared here and gotten y squared equals negative, whatever, at that point we can immediately say doesn't work. Right then, we don't have to go through all this stuff. So, as soon as you hit a, a complex number, empty set it, move on to the next one.